Hey everyone, welcome to an all new recent game pickups video. I have quite a few games to show you here, so let's go ahead and get started first with some Xbox One games. Alright, now this game, uh, I really love this game. I, I should have mentioned this on my, my top games uh, of last year list, but it is Life is Strange. This is a limited edition. Um, I picked this up on Xbox One because I already have the digital edition uh, of it for uh, PS4. Um, but what's really cool about this limited edition uh, was that it has a soundtrack with uh, 22 tracks on it. Some are from uh, the original score for the game, and uh, about 14 are from uh, you know different artists that they um, got songs from for the game. And um, I really like th this soundtrack. I've been listening to it a lot. And uh, it also came with uh, an art book. Um, Shows you different art things from the game. It's a pretty cool addition. And uh, of course, we have the game here. Just a really, really great game. Uh, basically, this is about a a teenage girl who uh, comes back to her hometown to attend this prestigious uh, academy, uh, and she's going there for photography. And uh, then she realizes that she has the power to go back in time. And she meets her um, former best friend who really felt like she uh, abandoned her when, when she left. And, you know, they're, they're making up and, and hanging out again. And it's, it's a really good story about, about friendship and, and, and growing up and, uh, and just life in general. And uh, while I do think this is an episodic game, it uh, has... I believe five episodes, and I do think it, it kind of does uh, meander a bit in the last episode, but it, it does have, um, it, it comes together in the end, and, and it, it's just a, a nice story overall. Definitely recommend this game. It's a really, really good game. Next, I picked up uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Um, I actually got this, I think, for, it was on sale for $40. Uh, I gotta say, I, I was, I really enjoyed this game. Uh, I, th I do think the story was probably a little bit better in the first one, uh, but just th this is um, this takes everything great about the first game and just expands it and, and makes it better. Uh, the The world is bigger, a lot more open. Um, the graphics are are gorgeous. Uh, just I really really enjoyed this game. Definitely pick it up. Then. Uh, picked up Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. I don't know why I got this. Um, I mean, it was cheap, so that was pretty much it, I guess. But, you know, I've played these Lego games to death. I, I like them a lot. Uh, they can get really repetitive, but uh, this is still a, a pretty decent one. This is probably my least favorite Lego Batman game. I like the second one a lot more than this one, but um, it's still pretty good. All right, now we're going to go into uh, PC games. So the first two games I actually picked up at Best Buy. These were, actually, no, the, the first one I picked up at Best Buy, uh, this was on clearance, and uh, I think I, I got it for $8, $9, but it is Wolfenstein The New Order. I would previously played this a bit on Xbox One, and it's a really well-done first-person shooter. The graphics are really nice. The gameplay... It is is a lot of fun, and uh, it's it is it is a pretty challenging uh, first person shooter, but it's it's a good game, really good game. Definitely recommend that. And then this next one I actually picked up on on GameStop. It was on clearance for ten bucks. This is one I've been wanting to uh, to pick up on uh, PC for a while now. It's Borderlands the pre sequel. Um, I've only played maybe about twenty minutes of it, but it's it's pretty fun so far. So looking forward to getting further in that. Then I found these two at Office Max for I think like four dollars each. Uh, the first one is uh, the First Templar. This is a game that I actually already own on Steam, uh, but I wanted to get a physical copy of this. And uh, and you know this is part of the Games for Windows uh, line, and I just really like the look of the of the banner here. And I've already got quite a few of the Games for Windows. Um, game so I figured why not uh, go ahead and and collect for that so and you know it was only four dollars 
This next one is uh, a game called Legends of Pegasus. And I really should have researched uh, before I bought this uh, because from what I've heard, this isn't even worth $4. Uh, from everything I've looked at online, it's a broken, unfinished mess. And they even took this down from Steam. So they don't even sell it anymore digitally. Um, so I don't even know if I can actually redeem this. And I haven't even tried yet. So I don't know. So I, I just wasted $4 on that. But it happens. Uh, now we're going to move on to PS3, Vita, and PlayStation 4. So my sole Vita game is Killzone Mercenary. Uh, this was on clearance at my local Walmart for 10 bucks. Um, I actually do have this digitally, but I figured I, I'd get um, a physical copy of it to save up uh, memory on my um, memory card. So $10, pretty good deal. I uh, really do need to, to get further into this game, but it, it is pretty good on the Vita. All right, PS3, uh, first two game games here. This is one game that actually... Um, I I own digitally, but uh, but since I uh, only had uh, a 12 gig um, PlayStation 3 at the time, I didn't have enough room to actually download the game. So I just wanted to get the base game, and that is uh, Red Dead Redemption. Um, and uh, of course, now I actually have bought a uh, a hard drive for my PS3. So uh, this is kind of irrelevant now, but it does save me from from having to to download it, so still cool. I, I really do need to get through this game. It is a really good game. And then this is a game that I've been wanting to pick up for a long time. Uh, originally, uh, this, this game series started on the original Xbox, and uh, it's Chronicles of Riddick Assault on Dark Athena. And um, this actually includes the uh, original Xbox game, Escape from Butcher Bay. So it has uh, both campaigns on, on one disc. Uh, and I remember getting this when back, back, I guess, in 2008 or 2009 when I originally uh, got a PS3. And uh, not really getting too far into it, but it's a really good game. And then finally, since um, I did pick up a hard drive for my PS3, I was I was able to uh, get this game. This is a game I've been wanting to get for a while. I actually do have the strategy guide for it, uh, but it's Grand Theft Auto V. Finally, um, I'm able to play Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, I played a little bit of the game so far, and it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, so far, it's a, it's a lot better than Grand Theft Auto IV. Um, I I think that. I don't know, I think the, the driving controls are a bit tighter, and uh, I, the graphics are great on it. Um, I've played a little bit of, of Grand Theft Auto Online, and uh, while there w was some graphical pop-in um, when it was going through the, uh, the opening cutscene, uh, I haven't really encountered any lag or anything like that actually playing the game, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm definitely going to give this uh, more of my attention um, in, the, in the coming weeks. Uh, but yeah, really, really good game so far. All right, now on to PS4. So first game is uh, Skylanders Trap Team. I'm I'm really sick of these uh, Toys to Life games, and uh, you're gonna laugh uh, when you see the next game. But um, I got this for ten dollars uh, with the the portal and everything, and you know uh, it's. So far, it, it's okay. Um, I kind of like, from what I've played, uh, I like Swap Force a bit more, but this is still pretty decent for, for what it has been. But, you know, $10 for the whole starter pack is not a bad deal. And uh, I can probably trade that in once I'm done and get some of my money back. Uh, so, you know, I, told, I, <laughs> I said you guys were going to laugh after you saw the next game uh, since I said I was sick of Toys to Life games. I picked up <laughs> Lego Dimensions. Um, main reason I wanted to pick this up is because they had a Doctor Who level in it. I'm a huge Doctor Who fan, and I gotta say, I played through this. I beat it. It's it's a it's a really good game. Um, I enjoyed uh, 
I really enjoyed the Doctor Who level. That was really well done. It's just, it's it's really interesting and, and just weird how um, when you have like Batman going into Wizard of Oz or Ghostbusters and, you know, having Batman team up with Gandalf, it's just, it's really odd and, and fun. Um, if there are any negatives uh, about this, uh, it is really... I, I think the uh, the level packs and everything that are just way too expensive for what they are, but um, and the uh, s sometimes the, I think the levels are a bit too long. Like you'll run into a boss and you think, oh yeah, I finally beat the level if you beat them, but then you have to go a little bit further and there's another boss, and in some cases there's even another ones after that. So it's just I, I thought they were a little bit long, but. But still, uh, a really good game, and when some of these uh, level packs go on sale, I might pick up a couple, because uh, I've, I've actually had fun with it. And then I picked up uh, the Lego Movie uh, video game. Uh, you know, I, I really enjoy these Lego games, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to play them over and over on, on all, all sorts of different systems, on PC, Xbox One, because that's just how I am. Um, I, I like getting trophies and achievements. Um, now we're moving on to Wii and Wii U. So, first game I picked up is uh, Namco Museum Remix. And uh, this is kind of cool. It takes uh, some old Namco, Namco games and uh, remixes them with some uh, you know better graphics. And it involves Pac-Man a little bit in some of these. And um, i played a little bit so far, and it's all right. Um, I haven't played everything, but it's uh, it's okay so far. Nothing spectacular, but okay. And then uh, finally for Wii, uh, this is a game that was actually one of the, the rarer uh, Wii games to get for a while. Uh, but for some reason, it's come down in price, and uh, it's WarioWare Smooth Moves. Um, I love the WarioWare games. I love the, the mini games. They're just a lot of fun. And uh, and this one is is a, a definitely a, a good uh, title in that franchise. All right, finally moving on to the um, Wii U games. Uh, first up, we've got Super Smash Brothers. Uh, finally picked this up, and uh, I have to say, really enjoying it so far. Um, I enjoyed what I played at the 3DS version, and uh, it's it's interesting to finally be able to use some of the Amiibo that I've gotten uh, on this. And I just love all the different controller options, all the different characters in it. Uh, it, it looks great. It plays great. It's, it's just a, a great game altogether. Then, uh, a while back, uh, GameStop had a, uh, a buy one, no, it was buy two, get one free um, sale, or, or this might have been through my Power Up Rewards, I'm, I'm not really sure, but, so I decided to pick up some of the uh, the cheaper Wii U games. Picked up uh, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I actually have this digitally, but my external hard drive, uh, it, it, it jams up from time to time when I'm playing some of the the retail games I have downloaded, so I figured I, I'd be safe and, and go ahead and get the uh, the disc based version. And uh, I still haven't gotten into this game. It's it's all right, um, but I, I guess I haven't gotten far enough to really really get into it and just really addicted. But I mean, it, it the graphics are are fine and everything. It I just I don't know. It might not be my type of game. Then I picked up uh, Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed, uh, really great kart racer. Um, and I know some people will write this off, saying, "Oh, it's no Mario Kart," but uh, it's I. This really does stand on its own as a great kart racing game. Um, you know the the transforming vehicles. You may think that that is a gimmick, but it's it's a lot of fun. I mean, you go from from land to to air to water, and it's it's really cool, and it, it is pretty challenging, too, and I, I like the progression that um, you go through in the game. And just uh, and, and the uh, the Wii U version, you also get uh, Wreck-It Ralph and uh, Danica Patrick, so that's something. And then I picked up uh, Most Wanted You, uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted You. This is probably uh, the definitive edition of, of this game. Um, they, they actually took, uh, I think, uh, PC Textures... Um, and used them in this game, and there's some exclusive features on this. You have a co-driver mode. Um, you can make instant changes on the touchscreen. You can change from like day and night and stuff, and 
and the full game you can play on the gamepad. So really cool. Also has some different controller options. Uh, so really good game. Really good game. Next up, I picked up Sniper Elite version 2. This really isn't my type of game, but I really don't see this at my local GameStop all that often. And it was fairly cheap, so I decided to pick it up, add it to the collection. And uh, from what I've seen, it actually does uh, use a gamepad pretty well. Um, you can like track, as it says on the back, you can track enemy locations and activity, select inventory and weaponry, and monitor your heart rate all through the gamepad. So that's pretty cool. Next up, you guys are probably gonna, I'm probably gonna get hate for this, but I picked up probably one of the worst games on the Wii U. It's Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. I got this for 12 bucks. I really wanted to see how bad the game was, and I'm a big Sonic fan, but yeah, this, this is not a good game. <laughs> um, I didn't play it long enough to really uh, run into any glitches and things. Uh, I may... I probably will at some point go back to trying to get a little bit further into the game, but um, I can under, I can see definitely how younger kids um, may like this game because it it changes Sonic from you know speed driven gameplay to really a little bit of speed here and there, but this is more of an action adventure platformer, uh, which that's not the type of Sonic game I like. Uh, but you know some of the gameplay isn't so bad. Uh, I will say some of the, the, the graphics are, are a little weird. There are frame rate issues here and there uh, with with cutscenes that that just kind of are, are a little weird. Uh, it's hard to explain. Once, once you actually play the game, which you, you probably won't because it, it's, it's a terrible game, but um, you'll, you'll notice those things. And now a, a much better game I actually picked up, uh, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't really had a lot of time to play this yet, um, but I'm really glad I was able to, to get um, this with the uh, Amiibo. The Amiibo looks fantastic. Don't think I'm going to take it out of the box. Maybe at some point I will, but uh, but yeah, for now it's it's staying in there, and I, I really got to take some time and, and get back into the game. Um, of course, here's the uh, the box art here, and the box art I think looks fantastic on this. It just looks really, 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 really great. Then uh, I picked up uh, Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. I was actually able to get this on sale uh, online for like uh, thirty dollars. Took a long time to get here, but um, it, it's all right. It's all right. I, I don't necessarily think it's, it's worth thirty dollars. It's maybe like a twenty thirty dollar game, but it's uh, it's okay for what it is. Uh, it definitely does lack uh, lack features, and it, it's. For what it is, it's a fun tennis game, but it could have been a lot better. Then I picked up uh, Tank Tank Tank. I don't think I've, I've shown these before, but um, this is this is like a, an, an online multiplayer game uh, with tanks, basically. Uh, and there is like a free-to-play downloadable version, uh, but I wanted to get the uh, the physical copy. And then finally for Wii U games, I picked up Wii Party U. This is one I've been wanting to get for a while. And, uh, you know, you don't see it uh, all that much in stores, you know, packed in with the uh, with a Wii remote. So I went ahead and picked it up used from GameStop uh, just to, to get it to the collection. Really haven't played it too much. I definitely want to try to, to play it uh, with my uh, family to see, you know, all the mini games and see if it's any, any fun or not. But we'll... Uh, We'll, we'll try that sometime in the future. Okay, now I want to show uh, some Amiibo I picked up. And I know every time I pick up an Amiibo, I'm like, I'm never picking up Amiibo ever again. But um, I went into GameStop, and this was back in February when I got my tax return. And uh, somebody had traded in their uh, entire Amiibo collection, and they were all still in the box. And so, you know... GameStop can't sell those new, so they they sold them for pre-owned prices, so for ten dollars. Now, what was interesting at the time was they had a promotion going on where if you bought two figures, two pre-owned figures of like the the Toy to Life um, stuff, you would actually get three for free. So I decided to pick up quite a few Amiibo. Uh, the first one I picked up 
is uh, the 30th um, anniversary edition Super Mario Brothers. I actually also have this one in the box, but I decided just to, to get another one so I can open up. Uh, I also picked up uh, Ganondorf. Looks pretty cool. Uh, just uh, a regular Mario. Charizard. And this one is a bit hard to find now, but it's uh, Kirby. Bowser. Pikachu. Fox. Luigi. And Sheik. So, I am probably going to open some of these up just for uh, space issues, but... This was really kind of more of an impulse buy since I could get so many of them. I really didn't stop buying these, though. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is it for my recent game pickups video for February and March. Definitely tell me what you guys picked up uh, in the last couple months down in the comments below. And uh, as always, like the video, share it, and subscribe. Till next time.